Hi, this is Michael Benjamin Jacobson or Matthew Robert Payne. I wrote uh, 55 books under the name of Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, there's a couple about the two witnesses and uh, the end days. And uh, uh, this video is probably uh, uh, got a good title, uh, knowing I'm just writing it down, knowing the day and hour of the rapture. Um, okay, so there's a famous verse that says, No one knows the day nor the hour, not even the sun, but only the Father in heaven. Um, and the people who think they know what that means uh, think that they can say anyone that says the day or the hour is wrong uh, because uh, I think Jesus said that and no one knows the day nor the hour except the Father. Uh, if you uh, have listened to Bruce Allen, uh, who's uh, uh, one of the top 20 Christians in the world, I feel, uh, in the know and uh, close to Jesus. Um, he'll tell you about uh, uh, this uh, Jewish celebration, I think, the Feast of the Trumpets. And um, during that time, there's a celebrated new moon celebration. There's, there's actual celebration on a new moon uh, in Israel at a certain time of year, I think it's the Feast of the Trumpet. And um, they, they don't know when the moon is going to rise. It's somewhere um, uh, over the course of two days. It's not on one day. Uh, uh, if it's not on the first day, it's on the second day. But they're not sure uh, which day it is and they're not sure of which hour it is. Um, when the new moon is spotted, uh, there's got uh, people who look out for the new moon in the sky. When the new moon rises and is spotted, then uh, a scout goes and they blow a trumpet and the feast begins. And so uh, when Jesus said, uh, no one knows the day nor the hour, he was pointing to this feast. He was pointing to this new moon and the listeners knew that uh and um interesting enough uh there's there's something like a second coming um uh, mentioned in revelation 11 and uh, if you hadn't done a study of revelation 11 uh, you wouldn't see it uh i'm gonna I'll look up uh, revelation 11 on my computer here uh, just uh it's even bigger texts for me uh to read it um, I found that uh, a lot of people think they understand the book of Revelation and uh, I found that 99% uh, of the people that write on the book of Revelation are wrong um, and that sounds very prideful of me doesn't it um, so here are the two witnesses who uh, killed Revelation 11 verse 7 when they finish their testimony I remember when they finish their testimony the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war with them overcome them and kill them and their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt where our Lord was also crucified then those from the people's tribes tongues and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their bodies to be put in graves. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them, make merry, send gifts to each other, because these two prophets torment, tormented them who dwell on the earth. Now, after three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. And they heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Come up here. And they ascended into heaven in a cloud, and their enemies saw them. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake and the tenth of the city fell and the earthquake, 7,000 people were killed and the rest were afraid and gave glory to God of heaven. The second woe was passed. The third 
woe is coming quickly. Then the seventh angel sounded the seventh trumpet. Right. So, around that same time, the seventh trumpet blows. Uh, so, it sounds like uh, just before the seventh trumpet blows, the two witnesses get to their feet and ascend into heaven. Now, what I want to tell you uh, is this. There's a scripture verse that says, the dead in Christ shall rise first, then those who are still alive shall arise and meet them in the air, and uh, then the end will come, or whatever it, it says. Now, let's have a look at this. I'm going to have a look at a few scriptures. Uh, remember, there's a scripture that says, uh, then the Son of Man will appear in the earth, in, in the sky, and they'll, the whole earth will look upon the one that they bruised and uh, be sorrowful. Uh, where? Where? Where could the Son of Man appear in any sky over Israel, over Australia, over America? Where could he ever appear and the whole world see him in the sky? That's a question. That's a mystery, isn't it? Uh, you know, if, if he appeared above Israel, could the people in America see him? If he appeared above Australia, could people in China see him? Where could he appear? Now, I'm going to tell you something really simple, right? But you need essentially revelation to see this, right? The dead in Christ shall rise first. Uh, why, why would we need our bodies out of our tombs when people are already in heaven? I've been to heaven, I've met people in heaven. So who are these dead in Christ shall rise? Let's assume where it says here, Then those of the people's tribes and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to put in graves. So let's say there's cameras, a live stream on YouTube on the two witnesses, dead on the ground. People are having a second Christmas. They're sending presents to each other and giving gifts. Also, they're giving people in marriage and, and having a party. Uh, like the scripture says, just like in the days of Noah, People will be partying and having fellowship and giving each other in marriage because these two witnesses really tormented the earth. When they're dead, it's time for a celebration. And so they start uh, celebrating, right? So the whole world is having this party and on their TV screens uh, in where they're having a party, having drinks, it's got a picture of the two witnesses there. The two witnesses come to life, right? Just before this new moon is spotted in uh, Jerusalem, right? just before, just before the new moon arises, let's just say, then, uh, then uh, they rise to their feet and the cameras uh, that are set up there follow them and they go into a cloud, right? And they heard a loud voice from heaven come up here. What's that? That's Jesus is coming down on a cloud and coming down with the saints for heaven and they're up in the cloud, the two witnesses start rising, right? And, uh, and, and it says, and, and they ascended into heaven and their enemies saw them. So uh, they, they ascended into heaven and their enemies saw them. Uh, as they moved up, the cameras followed and panned on them. As they panned on them, Jesus came down the camera saw the Son of Man who they pierced. The whole world freaks out. The two witnesses join. They all disappear. Then the seventh trumpet blows. So no one knows the day nor the hour. This feast of trumpets, a new moon arises. The seventh trumpet blows. As soon as it blows, uh, then uh, it's all over. And uh, the seven vials of wrath come. So what am I saying? I'm saying the rapture. It's not until the two witnesses have finished their job. Now, hundreds and hundreds of you 
if hundreds of hundreds of people watch this, so that's garbage. That's not true. We're going to go before the tribulation. Well, you probably take the mark of the beast too, uh, because you're not going to go before the tribulation. And Jesus certainly wouldn't take most of the Christians off the earth and then try and reap the earth of people who need to give their lives to Jesus. No, the scriptures said the evil are reaped first and then the righteous are reaped. reaped. Now, remember the parable uh, also that says uh, the tares and the wheat, the tares are taken out at the harvest first, gathered and put into the fire, then the wheat is uh, seen. So uh, the fact that the wheat going first and the tares going or, 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 the, or, or the righteous and then the wicked taken, no, opposite the way around. It's the wicked first, it's the tares first, then comes the wheat. So uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm sharing this with you. Uh, I'll, I'll say something else sorry too. Uh, I've got... Uh, if anyone don't know, uh, me, uh, if anyone's not aware of me, um, one phenomenon that starts when I start a video is I start to get very itchy. I start itching all over the place. And uh, I'm sorry if that's distracting you in this video. So I'm going to give you some sad news. And this will worry a few people, but the rapture isn't this year. The rapture isn't in five years' time or 10 or 15 years' time. I believe um, the plans Jesus has for uh, this world and how he wants to reap this world and uh, build a, a kingdom of uh, faithful followers on this world, I think it's going to take a, a, at least 10 to 20 years. Um, I've got a book called Optimistic Visions of Revelation. Uh, you may want to uh, have a look at that book um, and have a look at what I've seen in visions. Of course, the visions could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, but um, but uh, here's the time of the rapture. And uh, uh, many people will be telling you, the springing up and saying, uh, the rapture's here and the rapture's next year and the rapture's here and there. Um, there is an exact time that the rapture is going to happen. It's on uh, the day when, when you see the two witnesses die, three and a half days later, that's going to be the rapture. And, uh, so there you go. That's a short video for you. I know it's not good news. I'm not the bearer of good news today. But um, I hope uh, that you can share this with your friends and... Uh, so have a look at what this guy says. This shirt says, love one another. And it's one of 200 t-shirts I've got on the website. And uh, hopefully be able to sell the t-shirts within a couple of days, the website will be finished. The third website will be finished. Paid a lot of money uh, to get um, this third website loading fast. The first website took over 30 seconds to load a page and people weren't uh, staying on the website. So. I encourage you, I've got 200 t-shirts and uh, it's a Christian message that uh, you can choose to wear out and uh, affect your world with the clothing that you wear. Uh, so um, bless you and uh, uh, please uh, be encouraged by this message. Uh, if you feel the need to rebuke me or say I'm wrong, um, just know that thousands have come before you. God bless you.